Hello viewers, in this video we will see inflated price method under pricing of material issues. Before we go into the problem, we will see what is this inflated price method. Under this method, the issue price includes the purchase price and losses arises due to the evaporation of material, wastage in handling, storage and carrying okay and this price includes the purchase price and also the losses arises out of the material okay and this method aims at recovering the full material cost that is it also covers the cost of contingency in addition to the purchase price okay it covers the full cost whatever spent or lost through this material yeah now we'll see one problem yes here we have the problem a manufacturer of surat purchased three chemicals a b and c from bombay the invoice gave the following information chemical a 3000 kg at rupees 4.20 per kg and the value is 12600 and chemical b 5000 kg at rupees 3.80 per kg and the value of chemical B is 19,000 and chemical C 2,000 kg at rupees 4.75 per kg and its value is 9,500 okay and these are the three materials bought and the cost was given okay and sales tax was 2,055 and railway freight okay freight charges for the material to carry thousand rupees and the total cost incurred for purchasing this material is around 44,155 a shortage of 200 kg in chemical A and 280 kg in chemical B and 100 kgs in chemical C okay and there was a shortage due to the breakage at Surat, the manufacturer paid octroi duty at rupee 10 paise per kg. Okay. He also paid cartage of rupees 22 for chemical A, rupees 63.12 for chemical B, and rupees 31.80 for chemical C. Cartage expenses also paid. And calculate the stock rate that you would suggest for pricing of chemicals assuming a provision of 5% toward further deterioration okay now we'll start doing the problem uh, this is the format of writing this uh, inflated price first we have to write the cost of chemical okay for chemical a the cost is 12600 and for chemical b it is 19000 and for chemical C it is 9500 ok it is given in the problem and I have written and the next one is we have to write the sales tax ok and this sales tax is based on the value of the chemical ok now we will see the calculation of sales tax sales tax is rupees 2055 and this is to be divided for all the three chemicals that is A, B and C okay and this sales tax is based on the value of the chemical here the value of the chemical is 12600 for a and 19000 for b and for c 9500 okay if we add all these three values we'll get 41100 okay and we have to divide this 2055 on the basis of this value okay for chemical A, the sales tax is 12,600 divided by 41,100. Okay, this 12,600 is the value of chemical A. So, that we have to write and divided by the total value. Okay, so we will get 630. And similarly, we have to find it for B and C. So, the sales tax is 950 for B and for C it is 475 okay that we have to write it 
in that format okay 630 950 and 475 and the next one we have is railway freight and this freight charges is based on the weight of the chemical see here chemical a weights 3000 kg and b 5000 kg and chemical c is 2000 kg so together 10,000 kg is the total weight of the chemical. So, we have to calculate the freight charge on the basis of this weight. So, for chemical A, it is 3000 divided by 10,000 will get 300 and for B, 5000 divided by 10,000 will get 500 and for chemical C, 2000 divided by 10,000 will get 200, okay? This freight charge 1000 is to be divided on the basis of the weight of the chemical. Okay. So, now I have written this railway freight. And uh, next thing we have to calculate the octroid duty. Okay. Here the octroid duty is given. That is 0 0.10 per kg. Okay. That is 10 paise per kg is the octroid duty. Here the total weight is 3000 for chemical A. That should be multiplied by 10 paise will get 300 and for B 5000 into 10 paise will get 500 and for chemical C 2000 into 10 paise will get 200. Okay, this is the octroid duty. So, I have written this and next one we have a cartage that is for chemical A it is 22 rupees and for chemical B it is 63 rupees 12 paise and for chemical C it is 31 rupees 80 paise. Okay, that I have written and now we have to find out the total cost. All the cost we have entered. So, it is the time to calculate the total and the total cost of chemical A is 13,852 and for chemical B it is 21,013.12 paise and for chemical C it is 10,406.80 paise. Okay. This is the total cost of this three chemicals. Now, we have to find out the cost per kg. Okay. Before that, we need to find out the weight of the chemical. Okay. Here, the weight of the chemical that is given in the problem is 3000 for A and 5000 for B and for C it is 2000. But there is a shortage due to breakage is there. So, we have to subtract the shortage of chemicals. For A, the shortage is 200 and for B, the shortage is 280 kg and for C, it is 100 kg shortage. Okay. Now, we will get gross weight. Okay. And we need to find out the provision of 5% that is due to the deterioration. Okay. And we have to find this deterioration on the basis of the gross weight. So, it is 5 percent. So, for chemical A, 2800 into 5 percent will get 140 and for chemical B, the gross weight is 4720 in that we have to find out the 5 percent. So, we will get 230 and for chemical C, 1900 is the gross weight in that 5 percent is 95 rupees. Okay. If we subtract this 5 percent, we will get the net weight of this chemicals that is 2660 for chemical A and 4484 kg for chemical B and 1805 kg for chemical C. Okay. Now we have to calculate the cost per kg and the formula to calculate this cost per kg is total cost divided by net weight. Okay, here we have the total cost and the net weight we found. So, if we divide that for chemical A, the cost per kg is 5.208 and for chemical B, it's 4.686 and for chemical C, it is 5.766. Okay. I hope now you understand this inflated price method. This inflated price method is nothing but 
it is the method which includes the purchase price plus the losses arises out of handling storage wastage breakage and so many other losses okay and i have given you a small problem for you to practice thank you for your patient listening